this is a quick demonstration um, to show how I'm generating the tiny bootloader for the new 18F16Q40 and all the other chips. I mean, this is a major conversion. This is working in um, PIC AS. I'm using Great Cal Basic as my source because it's just like a development tool. It generates pure ASM and it's all done in there. So let me just, um, I'll just compile it. This is just compiling up the Great Cal Basic source. It's generated the .s file. Now it's compiling it in PIC AS and it's now programming it. Um, as you can see at the bottom using PIC Kit Plus and it's programmed the chip. And you might not believe me. So um, what I've done is I've hooked up um, a PIC Kit 3. Okay, and that pick kit three is here. Um, I can then, if I read that, we'll have a quick look what it's generated. It's just um, pulling in the code there for us. Now, it's pulling it in. So what we're expecting to see is some code at the bottom of the um, prog program memory and some and a bootloader um, reset at the top. So let's, let's have a look at that. Um, here we go. We've got a little bit of reset here. It says do a jump, and that's jumping down to our code here, which is sitting here. This is the bootloader here, sitting there perfectly in memory, and it's got the blanks and the memory here so that we can load our bootloader. Okay, let's just get rid of that for you. And what I'm now going to do is just bring up a tiny bootloader itself. This is tiny bootloader. This is the user interface. Um, I'm just going to check the device. And it says it's got in here a um, an 18F64KB with a 512 byte EE, and that is correct. You there is a new pic.ini that needs to go with this solution because this is a new configuration for for that. So I've I've done that. Um, what I've also written I've written in the Great Cloud Basic um, a little program. Let me just open that program. I'll open that program for us. Open that file. Let me have a quick look in here. I called it test. There we go. Look. Test of great car. Basic. Great. And basically all I'm doing in here is I'm setting up. You can't quite see that. So I'll just move that out of the way for you. Uh, all I've done is set the chip up. Um, I have then set up the PPS and the serial. And I'm saying to me, put a dot on the screen and flash an LED. Okay. Let me just compile it up. So I'm going to compile that. It's actually using PIC-AS as the compiler. doesn't really matter what you use, actually. It does, actually, because you can only use PIC-AS or Great Cow Basic. Um, I will change it over to Great Cow Basic Compiler, just to prove it to you. So I'm just changing that over to Great Cow Basic as the assembler. And I'm just going to generate a hex file. I've generated a hex file back into pick it, uh, back into a tiny bootloader. In Tyler Bootloader, I just need to um, show you that on the screen. I am going to browse. Um, it's You can't see this on the screen, thankfully. Um, I'm just opening up that file I've just generated. It's called text.hex, and you'll see that appear in a moment. There we go, at the top, text.hex. And if I write that out, we should see an LED flash after two seconds. Oh, there we go. It's flashing. You might believe, not believe that I'm doing that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the delay in this pulse to one second. Uh, can you see that? Let me just see. I'm just going to change the pulse here to one second. What I'm going to do is just de delete that lot and then put that out. To, well, that's just ridiculous, isn't it? 250 milliseconds. Okay. All right. I'll do the same here. 250 milliseconds. I'll just recompile that back into Tiny Bootloader. Once that's compiled it, I'll uh, write that out. Now, the second write out is quite interesting. The second write out means that the bootloader has survived the first write, which is very important. So, as you can see, it's now doing its funky stuff. And if I show you a terminal, where's a terminal? Let me bring a terminal on this screen here. There we go. Terminal. And I'm going to connect my terminal up. You will see it going dot, 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 which is fantastic. I'll disconnect that. Uh, in my source program, what I'm going to do 
is I'm just going to change that to a plus sign, just so you can, well, we'll do hello world, how about that? Print string, hello world, delete that, compile it. What I've just done, so as you can see, it says hello world. I'm going to write that out using TBL. Here we go. Look at the terminal. Clear it. Connect it up. Hello world. We have a working bootloader. 